Okay, if you're watching this video, you should be done with the notes. Remember, you can go back and check Edmodo tonight. These videos will be posted on Edmodo as well. So if you don't have access to a QR scanner, if you don't have a smartphone, you can check on Edmodo. I will post all of these videos on Edmodo as well. Okay, so the last one, our state fair, it charges $6 of admission plus $2.25 for each ride. So again, we are dealing with cost. The word each is our keyword here, and it's dealing with each ride. The ride is going to be our independent variable. Our cost will depend on the number of rides. Cost, C is our cost. Number of rides, I will use R. Defining my variables, R is the number of rides. Our function rule, again, we have $6 for admission. That does not change. I can ride zero rides or a million rides. My $6 admission fee does not go up or down. So, the cost will be that $6 for admission. They tell me what to do with it. Plus, each, here's our other keyword, so $2.25 times the number of rides. I now have my function rule. I'm going to use it to analyze two different situations. If Eduardo has $25 to spend, how many rides can he go on? Well, he has $25, so the largest cost that he could handle is $25. So I take 25, substitute in for C. It equals 6 plus 2.25R. Go ahead, hit pause, check your answer, solve it. If you didn't get this function rule, change your function rule, check your answer, hit pause, and we're about to pop the answer up. And that's right, R equals 8.44444, so 8.4 repeating. That does not answer my question. Eduardo cannot go on point four repeating of a ride. Can we round this up? No, we can't. He does not have enough money to go on nine rides. He only has enough money to go on eight rides. So we would have to say eight rides is all that Eduardo could go on. Part D, how much will it cost to go on three rides? So now I know how many rides I'm going on. I can figure out how much money I need to bring. The cost is $6.00 plus two dollars and twenty five cents times those three rides that I want to go on I go ahead and I solve so knowing everything I know knowing that I want to go on three rides I need to make sure I have twelve dollars and seventy five cents I may ask for fifteen see if I can get a churro or something at the state fair but twelve dollars and seventy five cents will at least get me in and get me on three rides alright time to look at the last problem here Joe's air conditioning costs a $100 diagnosis fee plus an additional $24 per hour of labor. So, cost. Everything is going to surround cost today. The cost depends on, again, it's per hour of labor, so it depends on the number of hours of labor. So how long is Joe working on the air conditioning? That's going to add to my cost. I go ahead and I write my function rule. The cost is going to be equal to, I have a diagnosis fee that's not going to change. That's just basically if Joe shows up, he charges me $100 whether he works at all or not. So $100 plus an additional $24 per, there's my multiplication again, so 24 times the number of hours, H. Oh no, I didn't define my variables. Make sure you do. If you don't, you will get points taken off. Cost, I will define as C. H will be the number of hours of labor. Now I can use C and H in my function rule, because I've defined them. I know what they are. So, if the bill is $220, how many hours did Joe spend at my house? I know the cost. It was $220.
I don't know how many hours, so I solve my equation for h. Here's our equation. That was our function rule. If you didn't have it, go ahead, press pause, solve this one now, please. So we see that Joe spent five hours at the house working on the air conditioning. Hopefully everything is working now. Okay, those are the notes for today. Your homework. It was day four, function rule writing practice day is worksheet four in your homework packet, pages 15 through 17. And again, remember, there are videos posted on Edmodo going through all of the notes today.